LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. And this is a message for you, for you, for you, for you, Julius and Dongo. This is a message for you. And it's your turn. You know, I saw a, saw a video by K Black Boxing, and shout out to the brother, man. Um, you know, I just want to thank those guys for, you know, definitely supporting the fighter that I had on. Um, you know, but I saw a video about Julius Ndongo that just, it kind of, it moved me. You know, K Black really talked about what Julius Ndongo had done, you know. And, you know, I just started thinking, man, you know, this guy made the ultimate sacrifice in the sport of boxing. And he was willing to do what a lot of these guys wouldn't do. So, this is to Julius Ndongo. <clears throat> you know, Blood, I know that you'll, you know, I know you know him and maybe you can get the message to him. That's fine, okay. Um, I don't care if you have any kind of rhetoric or something that you don't like. I could really give a crap about you. If only one person see this video, that's fine. If that one person is Julius Ndongo, I did my job. And that's just the way that is. Well, you know, Julius, you know, you, you wanted this fight with Terrence Crawford. You know, this was a fight that you wanted, okay? You really wanted this fight. And, you know... You went in, you took a chance, and you came up short. You know, in my eyes, you fought for legacy. I know the money comes, but you fought for legacy. You fought for the legacy that you believed that was rightfully yours. You fought for your legacy. You're doing something in the sport of boxing that, that people just won't do. And now you got people that are trying to discredit Terrence Crawford because they don't think you are a credible opponent. But I know you're a credible opponent. Matter of fact, the work that you did leading up to you one bout away from becoming undisputed and you did that in a year? And shout out to Kay Black for, for giving me that bit of information. You did it in a year and I was unaware. You did everything you did within a year because you wanted to fight for the legacy. That's not how it is now. See, guys want to fight easy fights. They want to get million dollar paydays and get these easy fights. That, that, that's what they want to do. But, 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 but see, Julius, that wasn't your game plan. Your game plan was to become the best. If I had a million athletes, if I had a thousand athletes, a thousand Julians and Doggles running around the gym, I'd be world famous. See, Julius, Terrence Crawford may have, he may have taken a win from you, may have, but he definitely can't take away your heart. He can't take away what you stand for. They can't, nobody can take that from you. Nobody. Nobody can take it away. See, once you've already established that that's what you stand for, see, Julius and Nongo, it can't go away. It can't go away. And I'm making this video to you, man, because I know, I know after that fight, I, I mean, I saw it in your face. I saw it in your body language, man. You felt like, man, you let people down. You didn't let anybody down. You didn't let anybody down. And you didn't even let yourself down because you, yourself, you was willing to go in there and take the challenge that nobody wanted to do. And that's fight the best. You got so many boxers running around here. They don't want to fight the best. You know, they want to wait to fight this guy. They want to wait to fight that guy. They want to wait and wait and wait and wait until, you know, the wait is right, until this is right, until that is right. Forget about all of that. Because, see, Julius Ndongo, you were willing to fight the best. The best out there. You were willing to fight the best. And you didn't care who you had to fight to be the best. See, that's the difference between them and you. That's why, that's why your career, you're going to do much more in your career than these guys ever will. Yep, they'll probably fight a couple of more million dollar paydays and they'll do that. But see, Julius, that's going to run out. See, for those guys, that's going to run out because when they're finally forced to fight people on their level and above, when they're finally forced to do it, these guys are going to fold. And see, I know that you're not going to fold. I know that you're going to stand up. You're going to stand up. See, you got all these dumb people, Julius and Nongo, that's telling you that, well, you know, you shouldn't have been fighting uh, Terrence Crawford. You tell them that I'm standing up. I'm standing up. If somebody tell you that, that, that you wasn't a credible win, that you wasn't a credible person, you should have never been fighting for the belt, you tell them, I'm standing up. You got these darn promoters, you got people that don't want to believe in your skill set, that want to talk bad on you, talk down on you. You say, I'm standing up. I'm standing up. I'm standing up. I can stand up through anything. I can stand up. But see, I stood up. 
I stood up through the trials of Nambia, okay? And the country you're from, excuse me if I pronounced it wrong, but you stood up to, through the trials of that. You stood up to the dangers of that country. You stood up. You see, right now, standing up for your legacy, that's nothing. Stand up for your legacy. Because right now, Right now, you're at the best point of your career. You're at the best point of your career because now you know what you made out of. And you know that you're going to come on and fight the best. You know that you ain't afraid of the best. You know that you're going to get in. You know that you're going to make it happen. And I can tell you what. I can tell you what. Because one day, you're going to look back on your loss. And then you're going to be getting your hands raised high. And you're going to be the undisputed champion in that weight class. You see, there's never a moment when you can say, no, it can't happen. Because it can happen. It can happen. It will happen. It should happen. It should happen because you're there. You put your pants on just like every other man that's stepping in the ring with you. See, it's never the end, Julius. It's only the beginning. But now, what do you do now? You know what you do now. You put up a photograph of anybody that could threaten to beat you in the ring. You put that photograph up and you study him. You study him every day of the week, every day of your life. You look at those photographs and you start speaking that stuff into existence. You start making that stuff happen in your mind. You make it happen in your mind first. You make it happen. I'm going to defeat and knock out every last one of you guys. I'm knocking you out. That's what you do. And I guarantee you before the day turns into night, those dreams that you had and those goals, they become a reality. Because, see, you put that stuff into the atmosphere. And when you put it out into the atmosphere, you say, mercy, 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 because God himself sees all those goals. And God will honor a man because faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. You got the faith. You putting in the word. Now it's time to shine. And I tell you something right now. You didn't come your whole life. You didn't struggle in, 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 in your country. You didn't struggle in your country. To ever come up short. To be defeated. You stand up. You stand up. You stand up. You stand up for your family. You stand up for your mama. You stand up for your daddy. You stand up for your children. You stand up for your wife. You stand up. You stand up because nobody can keep you down. And the coach means nobody can keep you down. When you look up, you look up, you look up a man like you should always look up. You look up because there's nothing on God's green earth that can stop you. You look up because there's nothing that nobody can say that can stop you. You look up, no promoter, no promoter can stop your momentum. You look up. You look up, brother. Because things are looking up for you. Things are going to go well for you. Things are going to do right for you. But Julius... Now is the time of your career. It's the time right now. It's, it's the time. You still got to be like a missile, a heat-seeking missile. You seek and you seek and destroy the best in the world. And you got to keep that hungry mindset. Even if you get a big payday, Julius and Dongo, you keep that hungry mindset. Don't be like the rest of these guys. They get one payday and then they forget where they come from. They forget about the struggles that their heart had in their life. You can't forget about your struggles because your struggles are what make you. Your struggles are what made you the man you are today. And you got to keep that in your mind. And that, that's just the way that is. Keep your head up, Ndongo. I'm done.